What's up guys, Casey here, and today I'm going to show you how to get F-Port working on any F3 or F4 flight controller. Um, it's really straightforward, but apparently when I was doing it, I made it seem super hard, and it didn't work for me twice, and I gave up. But then I needed a spare UART, and I was like, oh, man, if I, if I use F-Port or try to again, I'll be able to have a spare UART, huh, for smart audio. So how do you get, uh, how do you get F-Port working? Well, it's super easy. All you got to do is if you have, this is going to be for an RXSR. If you have an RXSR receiver, all you got to do is flash the latest firmware onto it latest F port supported firmware you're gonna go over to FR Sky and you're gonna to go to downloads you're gonna to go to RXSR or whichever telemetry F port capable receiver you have there's a list of them let me just pull it up real quick that will be able to support F port support so alright so here it is the link um, a link to this page will be in the description and here are all the supported receivers so we're using this one right here the RXSR so what I did first was when this firmware was first released back in uh, January 31st I used this one on an F4 omnibus and if you have an F4 omnibus you'll know that there is no dedicated smart port or telemetry pad and even though I was using the uninverted signal F port still wouldn't work. And now I figured it out when I used it on an F3 board. What I was doing wrong was I was hooking up the um, smart port wire to an RX pad instead of a TX pad. That was the huge problem. So when you hook it up, you got to make sure you're not hooking it up to an RX pad. It has to be TX1, 2, 3, or whichever free transmit pad you have. So what you're going to do is you're going to flash, well, I wouldn't use this firmware. I don't know if this was the beta testing firmware, but there's a latest firmware that was just released on March 8th. Uh, this one right here. This is an F-Port supported firmware. Now, you don't see any notes. You don't see anything saying F-Port, but it is. Let me download it and show it to you. Uh, get out of here. You see here? RXSR F port FCC or if you're in Europe or other countries you use that one but here it is this is the latest F port firmware now that's the one I used and it's been working great ever since I, I can use Lua scripts I have full telemetry never had any fail safes or nothing like that everything just seems to be perfect so you're gonna go ahead and flash that if you don't know how to do that there's a bunch of videos on YouTube showing you how to flash um flash your FR Sky receiver with your Tyrannus or with your QX7 so you can just go ahead and Google that or uh, YouTube that but remember for the RXSR receiver or pretty much any telemetry receiver you have to use the smart port wire and not the S bus wire the smart port wire is your signal wire for flashing alright so once you've done that you're going to go on to updating your flight controller to beta flight 3.3. So that's pretty straightforward. I'm just plugging mine in here. Why does that always happen? <laughs> okay. Um, if you don't know what version you have, just plug your flight controller in. Go down to CLI, type in version, and it'll show you. You go ahead and select that in the firmware flasher, um, whatever it says here. Don't go for Omnibus and do it because you're going to damage your flight controller or something. Uh, just make sure you get the right version. And you go for 3.3 and you're good. You're done. That steps out of the way. Okay, and uh, oh, we're waiting again. Wow, this takes long. <laughs> All right, so now after you're done flashing, you're going to come back in here. You're going to go to ports. Now, whichever transmit pad you hooked up your receiver to, that is the um, one you're going to have to turn on. Like mine is hooked up to trans, uh, TX1, so that's why my serial RX and your one is on um, because I got 
You are two running TBS Smart Audio. And you are three. On this board, I couldn't find a TX pad anywhere. Not even in the manual. So, no idea. Just remember, don't use an RX pad. Use a TX pad. Now, before we go to configuration, there's some special parameters you got to type in. And I said again, this page, the link to it will be in the description. If you're using an F3 or F7 board, you're going to need to type, you're going to need to copy and paste this into the CLI. But if, if you're not using UART 3, you're going to have to change this number right here to whatever UART you're using. So as you know, with this whole UART and beta flight thing, it's UART, UART 1 is UART 0. UART 2. Two is you are one. You are three. Is you are two. So just make sure you have that number right. It's kind of confusing, but you get what I mean. If you want to use uh, TX one, all you have to do is change this number to zero. If you're using you are three TX three, then you change nothing. You just copy and paste. For the F four board, um, this is if you. Let's say you have a Kakute, and that does have a, a dedicated smart port pad. So you would just you'd use this one here. Now, if you're using a, the uninverted smart port signal, you will use this piece of code right here. Okay, good. So because I have this on an F3 board, this is what I used. I changed the uh, serial two to serial zero. Put it in the CLI, hit hit uh, enter, hit save, and we're, we're good there. Now we go to configuration, and all you got to do is turn on F port. So you go to serial based, F port all the way at the bottom. Hit save and reboot, and when your stuff loads back up, you should have everything working inside here. Let me turn my uh, Tyrannosaur and show you. Oh, boy. Welcome to OpenTX. Switch warning. All right, and there you go. Three point six volts. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, three point six volts. <laughs> okay. Well, there you have it, and that's uh, that's pretty much it. If you had any questions, just shoot them in the comments, and um, I hope this video was helpful. Get out there and fly, guys. Thanks for watching.